So make sure that uh, solid genius and frames thing is uh, on. Uh, I just loaded the one profile and select uh, one you know feature from the library. Select the endpoint and it automatically creates uh, holes and cutouts at the ends. Today I want to show you uh, how uh, we manage to do it and how we define the necessary library features for that. Okay. Uh, maybe we will make it even uh, more complex uh, because if you consider that uh, you have a profile and you want to have uh, certain holes at the end, uh, there are uh, two ways to do that. The first way will be we just uh, create the holes, you know, and um, the holes are at a, a constant distance from the end of the uh, part, which means that in certain times I can just uh, with easy connections I can click the end of the plate and I automatically get the uh, cutouts and the holes but in connections like this and this will be not the case because the holes will probably have to be shifted so this will be the result of a, a fixed distance uh, feature but uh, what we will actually get is something like this which means that the holes and the cutouts should be flexible it means like uh, modifiable at a dist you know at a distance uh, from the end of the profile all right now I delete uh, all what I have and start from zero from scratch to show you how to define uh, library features first thing I should do is uh, I should take the same profile type like uh, the library uh, feature so I'll just take a new profile 50 times 25 and just I will draw uh, model two of them next to each other and I will create uh, two library uh, features uh, one with the fixed uh, distance the other one will be with variable distance they both have their usage the fixed distance is a one click a one shot uh, library element and the other one is uh, more flexible so I just draw the 2D geometry uh, you just have to do normal modeling uh, you know functions and just draw the uh, geometry what you, you, you would like to have let's make also the cutout okay just punch it uh, first we make the fillets in the, at the corners and just punch the through the profile. Okay, the next thing is I copy the work plane to the other profile to have exactly the same shape. The first profile, the one on the left hand side, we will define as fixed distance hole. The second one on the right hand side, we will define as variable distance holes. They are both the same. Uh, we should uh, make the profiles a little bit shorter. This is always better because they will be inserted to the end of the profile in case the target profile is not long enough. We don't want to change its length. Alright, so those are the parts. They look the same. The only thing uh, will be different is the definition. I call the definition uh, function and first you select the profile okay and then on the profile we should define a coordinate axis that's all we have to do the coordinate axis uh, should be on the green highlighted face okay just put in the middle and there's only one rule you have to obey the y axis the v axis of the coordinate and the coordinate axis should look in the direction from the top of the profile towards the end so you have to rotate here I said that you know it will be everything stays the same second one is the same I define the coordinate axis again in the middle I will rotate it okay rotate it and now for this profile I select the option that it will be uh, not a fixed location the location will be changed and just select apply and I don't want to automatically unite that's all so as you see 
on both parts same coordinate axis but the second part has different parameters options like that it will not be united and it will be uh, maybe shifted along the axis just go and save your parts as normal package files okay I delete the existing one the one that I used in the beginning of this video to show you so it will be deleted then I just uh, simply go and just you know uh, store both models as package files second one as well I have to give a new name if you want to have also a small feedback um, icon you have to do also a BMP file with the same name like the model and put it in the same directory so I will also go to Solid Genius and use the Solid Genius screen capture routine um, it is 75 pixel wide and I will just make a picture from the profile okay and store it with the same name in the same directory in this case uh, the library will show me also a, a preview picture of the profile okay all right now it we are all set I delete all what I have done so we can start from zero all right and then just from scratch I will create some new profiles and add the library parts the new library parts in this case actually library parts are library futures because we are not adding a new part but we are just modifying the existing profile so please um, notice that our library parts can consist of combination of parts and features we can subtract automatically from blank parts some features we can add new parts and we can have a combination of both all right the second one will be uh, whoops the other side all right this one okay so I've made similar uh, profiles but with different connection just make it change the trimming that the ends are trimmed differently okay like V shape and now let's use our new newly defined library elements to modify and automatically create the holes and cutouts so the first thing is the the fixed one select the fixed one and simply go uh, we can see the feedback we simply go and click somewhere close to the end where we want to put as you see nothing is asked uh, because we said 20 millimeter fixed from the end automatically 20 millimeter second one is the variable one I click it nothing happens and then the part is positioned and left over so I can use the um, dynamic facilities and the pole star the arrow I can automatically uh, now enter here the distance okay okay and then if I'm done I just simply uh, hit the paste button and the new part will be pasted uh, into the uh, profile which I have selected all right and then let's do it here as well just simply select the end and position the library part and now here I will change the reference just to show you that if I would like to have it at a constant at a you know a specific distance from another reference element I can give it all right and then simply paste that's all so here we go we have um, we have used both parts the fixed part will be fixed from the end and the other one is and the other one is just a uh, variable at any distance okay thank you for listening